A beautiful day. What a way to kick off the kind of final weeks of summer here. Yeah, really good, especially after the gray of yesterday <laughs> and then the drama with the thunderstorms yeah. on Saturday and the rain last week that we had kind of just hit a really good stride today that's going to keep on Keep on trucking right on through the week. Makes you feel good, right? <laughs> it really does. It's beautiful out there. Has been and is right now. It's clear. It is 63, so we're cooling off, of course, with the longer nights of late summer. And we'll see low temperatures dip into the 40s again once you get away from the downtown and the urban core. On satellite, there's not a lot to talk about. We had some low clouds banked up against the Cascades this morning. Other low clouds in the extreme northwest part of the state. Some fair weather cumulus building over the mountains of eastern Oregon. But otherwise, Generally clear and no big smoke plumes. There are still wildfires burning in Oregon, but they kind of got tamped down a bit by the cool wet weather we had in the last week or so. Our high today was 73. The average for today is 80, so we were well below that. Medford 85, the hot spot in Oregon. And 80 is actually a somewhat rare commodity. 81 in Bend, 80 in John Day, 83 in LeGrand, and a few other spots, but that was about it. Low temperatures in eastern Oregon, by the way, this morning were in the 30s. Widespread areas of 30s, but let's talk about the 90s because we have plenty of those this year. So far in 2023, we've had 20, uh, 24 days of 90 degrees or warmer, and I say so far because we may not be done. We've had one 90 degree day this month, and it's certainly within the realm of possibility that we get another one or two. This ties for the fourth most with 2009, 2017 and 2021. So yes, it was an excessive amount of 90 degree days. The record will stand for 2018 with 31 days. We won't get another seven. So this weather system will move on shore in the morning and it's already producing some sprinkles up along Vancouver Island and the Olympic Peninsula, but that's about it. It may be a few sprinkles on the North Coast tomorrow morning, but this will wash out pretty quickly and there isn't really much behind it that's different from it. So we'll get the occasional weather system drifting on by doing us the courtesy of keeping it from getting too hot and the smoke around the Northwest really mild. There's no big plumes here. That's all over in the Dakotas and Eastern Montana. You see a few fires here generating some light smoke. Hopefully it stays that way for the rest of the month, right? So here's that weather system coming on shore. You see the speckles here of green. That's the rain. That's it. And then as it moves on shore, even that falls apart. So we may catch a few clouds on Thursday morning, tomorrow night or Thursday morning. Another system may blow in similarly as we go into Thursday night and Friday morning. Otherwise, it generally stays clear. Now the upper level pattern looks like this. A weak weather systems coming through. Here's the one coming in Thursday night and Friday morning, keeping us cool or relatively cool. We get sort of another one nudging by Sunday night. Similar effect, not much of an effect at all really is what that is. Just keeping it from getting too hot. Then warm and dry weather next week. This could provide us with at least some upper mid or upper 80s. We'll see if it gets any warmer than that towards the middle of the month. But all systems go right now for some great late summer weather. 63 freezing level 13,200 feet. The coast, partly sunny, and there's where we have a couple of sprinkles, really from Tillamook North, south of that, mainly sunny, highs in the upper 60s. For the valleys, lows in the 40s, but highs will be in the upper 70s. Lots of sun, beautiful, beautiful weather. Cascades also great, lows in the 30s, 50s and 60s, of course, depending on your elevation up in the high country. Central and Eastern Oregon will be sunny, lows in the 40s and highs in the 80s for the most part, so really great conditions there. For the gorge, west winds will be nice and constant, so wind surfers, kite boarders, go for it. 75 Hood River, 76 and Cascade Locks. And for Portland, clear and cool overnight and sunny and warm tomorrow with a high of 76 degrees. We'll do 76 again on Thursday, then Friday 80 and Saturday 83. Great weather for the Timbers match at Providence Park and still nice and mild on Sunday, then a little cooler next week, but still really great for the week ahead. I mean, right? cannot complain about any of that there. No, it's something we're going <laughs> to look back on in November, December, go remember. Oh, yeah. yeah. Thanks so much, Matt.